Hi everyone, Walmart reported fiscal year 2024 first quarter earnings results and I wanted to review those earnings and share them with you, give you the big picture highlights. Also, update my buy recommendation for Walmart stock. Heading into these earnings announcements, I had Walmart stock rated as a buy. So after the video, I will update that recommendation and let you know if I still have Walmart stock rated as a buy or if I changed my recommendation after reviewing the latest financial results. So let's begin. So revenue increased by 7.7% for Walmart to $152.5 billion. That was truly impressive, especially when considering if you noticed what Target reported yesterday, revenue growth of just 0.6%. So Walmart reporting growth more than 10 times the rate of one of its competitors, Target. Adjusted earnings per share of $1.47 was an increase from $1.30 in the same quarter last year. The gross profit margin declined to 23.7%. Due to changing consumer patterns, people are buying more groceries and private label branded items at Walmart and less things like TVs and discretionary items that come that generate higher gross profit margins for Walmart. A bright spot for Walmart was e-commerce sales, which includes pickup and delivery. That increased by 26% year over year. Within that segment, one area that's growing much faster than e-commerce overall is the buy online and pick up in the parking lot. This has been incredibly popular for both Walmart and Target. And Walmart noted that, again, this quarter saw significant growth in drive up orders where you buy online, you drive up to a parking lot and an employee brings you the item to your car. This is much faster than anything Amazon can do. And so this could be a competitive advantage for a long time for brick and mortar retailers that can now use their stores as a competitive advantage against Amazon after years of Amazon taking away sales from these brick and mortar retailers. So this is an interesting development to keep an eye on over the next several quarters and several years. Ad revenue increased by 40% compared to last year. This is another development resulting from the popularity of Walmart's website. It can now sell advertising on the website because marketers are very interested in potentially changing the purchasing decisions of people that visit Walmart's website. So Walmart is able to sell this very lucrative ad revenue that generates much higher profit margins than arguably any other part of its business. Walmart noted that the supply chain and freight costs are coming down after they soared for several quarters as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. Operating cash flow increased to 200 million. This was an improvement from negative 3.8 billion in the same quarter last year, but that kind of distortion was due to inventory changes. Remember this time last year, there were still significant supply chain shortages. So Walmart to get ahead of those problems, ordered a big load of inventory just to make sure that it had things on hand and its shelves weren't empty. So when you buy inventory, that's a use of cash that makes your cash flow look worse. And then when you sell that inventory, it improves your cash flow, right? Because now you're exchanging items for cash, which makes which improves your cash flow. That's primarily what happened in this quarter. For the rest of the year, Walmart is forecasting revenue growth of 3.5% with adjusted earnings per share of $6.15. Sense. Now, interest. two things that are interesting here. Let me go through them one at a time. The 3.5% revenue growth for the year is interesting because Walmart delivered 7.7% growth in the first quarter. So for Walmart to end the year at growing just 3.5% would mean that the second, third, and fourth quarter are going to be meaningfully worse than the first quarter. That's the first interesting point. The second is... Despite that headwind, Walmart expects its earnings per share to just decline slightly from last year, $6.15 in 
Last year, adjusted per earnings per share was $6.29. So two interesting things there to note from Walmart's full year guidance. Okay, now to the question, do I still rate Walmart stock as a buy? And the answer is yes. I still rate Walmart stock as a buy. I didn't see anything from these quarter's results that would have me downgrade Walmart's uh, stock. In fact, I would say that this quarter improved my recommendation for Walmart stock. The fact that they were able to grow revenue 7.7% when Target only grew revenue by 0.6% shows me they've got the items that consumers want. They've done a better job merchandising, filling up their stores with the things that consumers want right now. So if anything, I would have upgraded my recommendation for Walmart stock. All right, but that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.